Can we see some more? And did you get any money from Sorcerer's Apprentice? Um, <laughs> can we see some more merchandising? It is the first question. And uh, uh, well, yes, in fact, you can actually coming soon from Badali Jewelry it would be you know, Harry's uh, uh, force rings, which I'm wearing one of right now. Um, ooh, I know. <laughs> And if you had four or five of them, if you get four of them together, you'd have like brass knuckles too. I mean, they're solid. Um, and then, did I get any money from the Sorcerer's Apprentice? You no, know, you know, if it had been anybody but Nick Cage who had done that after he produced the Dresden Files, I, I would not have had anything to say. But, but as it was, I, I had to post those side-by-side -side pictures at one point. So, you know, they, they, with with this with this caption, just say it. <laughs> All right, let's do one or two more questions, and then we'll start getting some book signed. So, uh, over here, the glasses. Um, so, you mentioned Star Trek earlier, you know, Molly sees the, the world in Star Trek and Harry sees it in Star Wars. Um, is that representative of the worldview that we saw in other characters? Sci-fi land, what would it be? <coughs> um. Mostly it's just that Molly sees it in Star Trek and Harry sees it in Star Wars. I mean, I, I, I don't want to, I don't like making sweeping statements. If you could draw something from it, awesome. But mostly what I meant was, Mostly what I wanted was Molly in the mini skirts and talking to herself a lot. <laughs> and with the Vulcan ears, come on, that would be adorable. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, plus, I wanted to. Plus, I wanted to be able to reference the show and to be able to reference the the the, the gladiator music because I just love that cheesy music. <laughs> 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 Uh, plus, it was a fun way to do it, and it, it was a fun way to show Molly, to, to have Molly wave her nerd flag. Um, uh, but yeah, there wasn't really any deeper meaning behind that. I'm, I'm sorry, I wish I was more literary and cool. <laughs> uh, but, uh, last question? Okay, yeah, you're, you're bouncing up and down, so yeah. question, Harry Dresden and Harry Potter. I, I'd give it to Dresden just on the, because he just started punching and kicking, but on the other hand, Potter's a kid, and Harry would have, have issues with that, uh, uh, so I don't know. Um, I, I don't know if I can answer that question. I can tell you my, I can tell you the fan fiction, I, the, the Harry Potter fan fiction I've been thinking about writing, though. <laughs> I want to write the next generation, where uh, uh, the new Dark Lord, the, the incipient young Dark Lord, goes off to Hogwarts, and you know, he puts on the sorting hat, and the sorting hat like, goes like Slytherin, and he's like, what, what, no, so stop, you can't put me in Slytherin, why not? Because I'm going to conquer the world, I don't need to be surrounded by a bunch of ambitious backstabbing traitors while I'm setting up my power base. Put me in Hufflepuff. <laughs> And then he goes all the way through Hogwarts, you know, kind of dealing with, with, with all these problems that, 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 that basically amount to, I can't conquer the world if someone destroys it. <laughs> and, and his nemesis, his dark lord is Harry Potter, who's out there somewhere, and he knows who have to defeat him one day, and so on. Uh, uh, but then eventually, you know, eventually at the end of the series, he comes to realize that, because he, he's been priding himself on doing the smart and rational thing all along, uh, then eventually he comes to realize that the smart and rational thing in the long term is generally also the morally good thing to do. Uh, uh, because that's really what, in the long term, that's really what gets you more benefit, is when you actually behave uh, like an ethical, moral, and rational human being. Uh, uh, so, uh, and, and, then, and then, you know, the Dark Lord will have been defeated before there ever was a Dark Lord, and he can hang out with Harry Potter at times. <laughs> but, yeah, that would be fun to write. And, but, 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 yeah, just, no, Hufflepuff! <laughs> Surround me with these loyal people, I'll need them. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for putting up with me. <laughs>